Mr. Krishnamurti, in our series of conversations, we've, we've reached, it seems to me, an especially critical place. In, in our last discussion together, we touched on the question of authority, not only in relation to what is out there that we project and what is out there that faces us, literally, but also the question at the deeper level of m my relationship within. And the point where in the inquiry, in going deeply into myself, in self-examination, there is a point of boggling. One, one boggles, one is faced, and, and one is hesitant and, and trembles. It is a real fear and trembling that yes. occurs at the brink of, of that inquiry. And, and I think you were at the conclusion of our former conversation moving toward a discussion of that in terms of its role in the religious life. That's right. Yes. So why do we hesitate? Mm. That's what comes to what you're saying. Why don't we, why do we not take the plunge? Mm. That's what you're asking. That's what I'm asking. Yes. Why is it always coming to the brink and withdrawing, running away? Why don't we see the thing as is and act? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it uh, part of our education that has cultivated function, enormous function? We give tremendous importance to function. As an engineer, as a professor, as a med doctor, and so on, so on, functioning in a particular technique. And we have never cultivated or encouraged or inquired into what is intelligence. Where there is intelligence, there won't be this hesitation. There is action. I mean, when one is very sensitive, mm -hmm. you, you act. Mm -hmm. That sensitivity is intelligence. Now, in education, as I have observed it both here and in India and other parts of the world, education is merely the tra training the mind to function to the dictates of society. Hmm? Hmm. So many engineers are wanted, so many doctors are wanted. If you get into a profession where there are few, you might make more money. You have to watch out for the glut. Glut. Yes. <laughs> yes. Don't, don't. don't become a too science, scientific. There are enough scientists, or yes. whatever it is. Oh dear, dear. Yes. So we are encouraged and trained to function in, in the field of activity as functions, career. Mm -hmm. Now, we hesitate to enter or plunge into something that demands all your attention, yes. not fragmentary, all your attention, because we, have n we don't know what the measure. We know how to measure function. Mm -hmm. Here we have no measure. Therefore I depend. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I won't reason here, because I don't know how to reason. I don't say to a man who says, I know, what do, I say, what do you know? You only know something that's gone, finished, dead. You can't say, I know something that's living. And so gradually, as I see it, the mind becomes dull, 
restless. Its curiosity is only in the direction of functioning. Mm -hmm. I'm not. It has no capacity to inquire. To inquire, you must have freedom first. I can't inquire otherwise. If I come to inquire to something which I have to inquire about, if I have prejudices, I can't inquire. If I have conclusions about that, I can't inquire. Therefore, there must be freedom to inquire. Mm -hmm. And that is denied. But I've laid mm, society and culture laid tremendous importance on function, and function has its own status. <laughs> oh yes, yes, uh, it's exalted ultimately into process. Yeah, into a status. Right. So status matters much more than function. Mm -hmm. And so I live in that field, live in that structure, and. Uh, and if I want to inquire into religion, what is religion, what is God, what is immortality, what is beauty, what, I can't do it. I depend on an authority. <laughs> and so I have no basis for reasoning. You follow, sir? In this, in this vast field of religion, So, it is partly the fault of our education, partly our incapacity to look at anything objectively, our incapacity to look at a tree without all the rigmarole, knowledge, screen, blocks that prevents me from looking at the tree. Hmm. I never look at my wife if I have a wife, or a girl, or whatever. I never look. I look at her or him through the image I have about her, him or her. So the image is the dead, dead thing. So I never look at a living thing. <laughs> I never look at nature with all the marvel of it, the beauty of it, the shape, the loveliness of it. But I'm always translating it, trying to paint it, write about it, or enjoy it. Or, you follow? Mm -hmm. So, from that arises the question: Why do I? Why do human beings accept authority? Obey? Is it because they have been trained in the field of? function, hmm, where you must obey to learn. You follow? You can't oh, yes. No, you it has its own laws law. built in. This, it has its own disciplines. Exactly. It has its own laws, its own ways. Mm -hmm. Because I have been trained that way, I bring that over here into the field of religion, to the field of something that demands freedom. Freedom, not at the end, right from the beginning. Mind must be free from authority from the beginning. If I want to find out what is God, hmm? not I believe in God, that's no meaning. If there is God, if there is no God, I really want to find out. I am terribly serious. And if I am really serious, I am really concerned to the understanding, learning about God, if there is God, I must push aside completely all the beliefs, all the structure, all the churches, all the priests, all the books, all the things that thought has put together about religion. 